Welcome to Creative Minds Chunky Bead Tutorial. If you'd like to learn how to make a chunky bead like the one right here on this beautiful rustic heart necklace, stay tuned. Also, if you'd like to learn how to make the necklace, click on the link in the description box below. In this video, we'll just be learning how to make this bead. So, let's get started. This video has been sped up for your convenience. I'd like to give you a list of the basis, basic steps which will be performing to create this bead. If it's easier for you, write the steps down before starting this project. Pour a small amount of liquid clay into a heat resistant mold. Use a heat gun to carefully heat dry the liquid clay. Color with desired marker color or colors to top of cool, dry liquid clay. Repeat until the mold is filled. Glaze the bead with liquid clay on both sides and heat dry. But feel free to add micro powder, glitter, maybe other sparkly things and drill a hole in the bead when it's finished if needed. You see here we fill our mold with the Kato Liquid Poly Clay and we're drying it with the heat gun and it is sped up so you can see it's drying very fast. Have to have some patience with this. One thing you want to be careful of is you want to hold the heat gun four to six inches away from the clay to avoid burn spots and once in a while you have to get in close but right there you can see there's a tiny little burn spot on the left which really didn't matter too much because I'm using dark marker colors um, to color this bead. What colors I used were brown, a little bit of black, orange, even some yellow kind of to go for a, um, brown, a brownish colored bead. But again, you don't want to come in too close. There are some shots where I'm coming in close, but I'm really being careful to just make it as minimal as possible. You want to stay about four to six inches away. And basically, you just repeat these steps over and over until your mold is filled. And you want in between to add the color and then add more of your um, Kato Poly Liquid Clay. In the last layer here, you see I add some mica powder and then some clay over the top and stirred, stirred it with a toothpick there and then dried that. Um, the last thing you're going to want to do is to take your bead out of the mold and let it cool. As you can see my, I'm, when I'm handling it, when I take it out of the mold here, it is pretty hot, so I'm careful not to work with it with the markers, at least at that time. It will burn the top of your marker. But once we get it, you're going to want to heat dry it on the top once we get it out a little bit because some of the areas just didn't, it didn't get to it. Once you have gotten all those areas cleared up, then you can, after cooling, apply a little bit more marker to the top and if, if you want to, if you feel it's needed, and then finish the process. There I'm just trying to scoot it back into <laughs> view for you. Um, but basically then, as after it's cooled off to, to the touch enough, you can go ahead and add a glazing layer to the top of your bead. And this will ensure that it's just a very nice, crisp, smooth, clean, glazed top finish. And once that is done, you are finished. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to add more marker and add another layer uh, or another layer of the um, Kato liquid clay. 
but in this instance we didn't need to do that so that's basically all that was done here if you like this video if it's helped you at all please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for more videos and again if you'd like to see how to make that beautiful rustic heart necklace just click on the link in the description box below and it'll take you right to that so again thank you for watching and enjoy the last few bits of this video.